Hi everybody, PJ here, and look what I've got. Yes, it's a new radio, and it is the brand new Bofang. It's the, there you go, let you read what it is, take me get big fingers out of the way. It's the uh, UV-5RM Plus GPS. So this has got built-in GPS. Let's have a look what's in the box, shall we? So we've got a, a radio. <laughs> what's your game? Hey, I don't want to kiss, no. There we go. That's the radio. There's the back look. Model number UV5RM+. Plus. We've also got a battery, or battery, or battery, or however you want to call it. And it's a 2,500 hour milliamp battery. There you go. We've also got an antenna in the box. We've got a charging plug, but unfortunately, it's a European style charging plug. So, um, my razor adapter will charge that. Or, if I want, USB C, so I can plug a USB C in and charge it. I've got a headphone kit, I've got a belt clip and a strap and unfortunately there's no charging dock that's the box that's empty now for complete transparency I must tell you that uh, Bofang actually sent me this radio out so I could uh, have a look at it now I'm just putting it together while we chatted um, they don't know what I'm going to say about this radio there's no input on what I'm going to say about this radio uh, and everything I say is down to me now so that's that but let's have a look hang on I've got two of them now why have I got two well this GPS function on here allows you to send position from one radio to another radio so if you're working in a remote situation and you're in radio range of say a colleague and something happens you fall or anything like that you have an accident and it's not sure where you are you can transmit your position from one radio to the other radio so he knows exactly where you are where you are oh, where you are where you are <laughs> and how far away you are so there you go so that's a brilliant feature in these radios how expensive are they i think they're about 40 pounds i think or 35 pounds we'll have a look in a minute on the website but this is the first of three radios that uh, oh there's three radios three videos that i'm going to do all about this radio so the first video is we're going to have a look at the radio itself and the second video is about programming because the programming on this radio is a little bit different to normal because it's got the GPS on and it doesn't work on Chirp, it only works on uh, the Bofang software. And the third video I'm going to do is where we test out the GPS sending your position from one radio to the next one. So we'll try that out for the third video. Right, let's get down to it and have a look at these two radios or have a look at one of the radios and have a look at the features and everything else on it shall we yeah let's crack on so let's start off by the look of the radio now this may look quite familiar to a lot of people because it looks very very similar to the classic Baofang R5 but it's a totally different radio has lots of new features to it that the R5 doesn't have now the build quality feels really good, it feels nice and sturdy, made of uh, good quality plastic rather than cheap plastic. It's 
got a bit of weight to it. So uh, even if the battery runs around, you can use it as a hammer or something, like <laughs> or something like that. But no, it feels really, really good in the hand. So like I say, this radio has a very nice feel in the hand. It's got a nice uh, colour screen on there, which is quite bright. You do have a little bit of trouble seeing it in the daylight. But, um, you know, if it's really, really sunny, you might struggle a little bit. But in normal UK situations, it's absolutely fine. On the top there's a rotary knob. Now this is a, an on and off switch, so we turn it off, turn it back on. Welcome, channel mode. There you go, it tells you channel mode, puts up your call sign if you put that in the software, and then uh, it monitors two channels at the same time. Now here's the surprise for Chinese radio. If you look on the top, there's no flashlight. And why is that? That I imagine is the uh, the fitting for the GPS so they've taken the light out and put a GPS in there instead which uh, to me makes more sense because most of the time these flashlights are about as good as a chocolate fire guard so I'm not that bothered about a flashlight on there now if you wonder why the lights changed I've put the lights on in the uh, radio shack or as Mrs PJ likes to call it the kitchen anyway um, channel changing. Now there's no dial on the top like there is on some of the radios. To change channels you've got the up and down buttons there. Six, five, four, three, and two, you'll see the channels changing with the three, up and down four, buttons. Five, I must admit I do like it when there's a dial on the top and you can turn through the channels which does make it a bit easier and a bit quicker to go through your channels than using the up and down buttons but Hey ho, it is what it is. Now on this side of the radio, we've got three buttons. The middle one is the PTT switch. Now this one is plastic. It's not a rubber one like on uh, a lot of the radios. You've got a programmable button there and you've got a programmable button there, which you can use or which you can change in the programming software. So at the moment, I believe the uh, bottom one puts the radio on. No, that's the squelch. And the top one turns the GPS. Oh no, that one's a radio. <laughs> I am going to get it right sooner or later. But you can program these buttons in the software. Like I say, I've only just got these radios. I've just put a few, uh, couple of frequencies in so I can demonstrate it. And I've not really had much chance to have a play at the moment. Now, to be honest, I do like the, the look and the feel of the radio. It feels really nice in the hand. Uh, with it being a fairly large radio, the buttons are quite easy to control. So, even with my big digits, my big fat fingers, I can still get in there, press the buttons, and I have no problem at all. I'm not pressing the wrong button unless I'm not looking what I'm doing, which is what I usually do. But the buttons are easy to control. They're backlit, so, I mean, you can't see it in here because I've got a light on. But, uh, you know, in the dark, the buttons light up so you can see what it says on the buttons. On the other side, you've got the little flap that you can pull down, which takes the usual uh, programming jack, and that fits up there, like that. And then on the bottom, you can see there's two metal mounts there, so if you do have a cradle, or a mounting cradle, or a charging cable, or whatever you want to call it, it will charge in a charging cable. Now I do believe that if you have some other Bofang radios um, this has a good chance of fitting and charging the radios. Now the clip on the back is uh, plastic but it seems to be nice strong plastic and it's connected to the radio not to the battery. So if you've got a spare battery you don't have to take the clip off and change the battery and then put the clip back on. You can leave the clip on the radio and take the battery off and put the new battery in which is uh, always a good thing rather than unscrewing and re-screwing the clip back on and everything else. Now it does come with a 7 inch uh, antenna which covers the UHF and VHF frequencies. It doesn't cover the 1.2 meter band that uh, this radio can actually transmit and receive on. Now if you want to go on that band um, then you need to source your own antenna for that. Now to change channels you press the AB button 
just there and as you can see that will change the channels so the top channel is in VFO mode and the bottom channel is in memory mode and just swap them back again there you go I don't know if you can see that getting a bit of reflection from the window there you go one of the good things is that if you press and hold this blue button here let's have a look it puts a, a mute on there so the only channel that's receiving now is the top channel and if I press it again the only channel that I'm receiving on is the bottom channel which is great because sometimes it gets a bit busy and you've got two channels coming in at the same time and uh, it can get a little bit confusing when you're uh, trying to have a conversation with people and if I press and hold it again it puts it into single channel mode now as you can see now I've got everything there that I need it says channel 1 and the frequency right so let's have a look at some of the menus on here to get into the menus we're going to press this green button here and as you can see we've got a nice comprehensive uh, set of menus on here right, let's start at the top we've got a scan button so if we press that we can uh, search by frequencies we can search by channel different scan modes subcodes etc etc on there okay press the red button and it takes you back radio settings are things like squelch, power, vox etc etc now I'm not going to go through this because uh, it's a Chinese radio and generally speaking they have loads and loads of different menus on there but you've got all your basics on there to uh, adjust the radio as required the next one we've got is a program channel so we can um, program this radio directly we can put the frequencies in etc etc all done directly on the radio which is quite handy the next one down is your radio info so it gives you your version so your firmware version etc and my radio gives a radio ID and a radio name next one we come to is the GPS so we can turn the GPS on and off we can get GPS info my position share position etc etc it probably not picked up my position at the moment no it's not but uh, we've got all the um, we've got all the GPS um, things that we need on there so we can even share our position it's turned off at the moment but that'll be another video how to share your position on GPS so we've got NOAA weather now NOAA weather in this country is about as good as a chocolate fire guard but uh, if you live in Canada or the United States then uh, you possibly need this service now if we press the menu button you can either turn it on or off which is quite good because a lot of Chinese radios you've got these channels programmed in and you can't delete it through um, various programming software you have to do it one channel at a time on the radio you can also set weather alerts as well and that's your menus so as you can see it's quite a comprehensive list of menus on there now we'll just quickly go back to the zone channel and if we go into that now this radio has got 640 channels on broken down into 10 banks so you can have 10 different banks or all, all types of different things repeaters uh, PMR etc etc and scan those banks individually which is absolutely great now I've got several banks selected in there I've got uh, Ham Repeater, Ham Simplex, Durham which is where my daughter lives and that's got the local repeaters for where my daughter lives I've got local channel on there which is the channels that get used around here which we tend to chat on and let's just go down 
I've got my PMI on there as well. So you can have several different banks and you can have say the top channel on PMI and the bottom channel on ham uh, repeaters or however you want to do it and you can have them separate so you can have two different sets of banks running at the same time how good's that now talking about two, running two different channels I've got PMI on the bottom and I've got frequency on the top now if I press and hold the hash key at the bottom you'll see that scanning it starts again. scanning the PMR channels and there you go the lights flashing and it's scanning the PMR channels so I can have two different things on at the same time now this is the beauty of having banks on here this channel this radio has got 640 channels on and being able to break it down into different banks means that I can have the radio scan a certain set of channels or frequencies that I want. I don't have to scan everything all in one go which is absolutely great so I'm not scanning 640 channels if I've got 640 in I can pick which section that I want scanning so say I've got uh, say a marine band in as well I can scan the marine band or I can scan PMR it's just very useful that you can scan like this. I'm going to put my teeth in in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to put my teeth in in a minute and stop talking gibberish. But yeah it's great you can uh, you can scan individual banks and that's absolutely fantastic. The other thing you can do if you wish is you can put it in frequency mode like that is there on the top channel. Let me just uh, adjust it. Press and hold the scan button. Scanning begin and it starts scanning frequencies you can also limit the frequencies that you want to scan so you can put a, um, a lower level and a higher level of frequencies in and it will just scan in between those two frequencies well that's about it for this uh, video I could go on and on and on um, watch out for the next videos that's coming out uh, like I say I don't want to waffle on too long people will be falling asleep and calling me a wobble gob and you know I don't want to keep waffling and waffling so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up please share please subscribe oh and by the way down below I'm leaving you a link where you can uh, buy all this equipment now I have to let you know that uh, I do get a little bit of a kickback from Bofang it doesn't cost you any more to buy the radio but uh, it does help support the channel that little bit Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and guess what? I'll see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon. I'm sticking my hand in front of my face again, aren't I? <laughs> I'll see you there in the next one. Bye.